All right, we got a good one today. Just got this in the mail. UPS just dropped it off. I've been needing a new tarp, so I pulled all the ones I have out. I lined them up here. Let's go over these real quick. These blue ones, these are the cheapest ones you can get. They have them everywhere. The problem is when you tie something down with them and the wind blows, they just shred into pieces. They're waterproof for about a minute. The next one up, they call it heavy duty. These heavy duty tarps, brown on one side, gray on the other one. And oh shoot, you can, you can see what happens to it right there. It actually gets so thin that it's not even waterproof anymore. It's just like a coating. And they shred. See how they just shred? I mean, it lasts longer than the blue one, but they're still no good. And they're all, they're pretty expensive. Look, oh, you can see holes in it. See the holes in the heavy-duty tarp? Like, if you wrap it around the corner of something, it, it'll poke right through. It'll poke through. So, when I'm on my truck or my trailer and I'm tying something down to keep it out, out of the rain, I use the heavy-duty ones, but they still, they still don't last. The next thing I got here, okay, is this thing. Let's go over this. So this is pretty nice. I actually found this on the side of the road. It fell off a, a dump truck or something that uh, carries dirt. It's not really big, but it, it's like super thick mesh. And it's got these nice grommets on it. And it's got um, tie-down loops all over it. So it's not waterproof because it's mesh. But if you had to tie down branches or something, uh, this, I use this. I use this going around. It's it's so it's so look at all the stitching on it. I don't know what this what this one is, but this sucker is nice, but it's not waterproof. So I rarely use it. When I when I found it, it had grease. You could see some grease spots still on it. Yeah, see. So I don't know. It was um, maybe black top or I don't know who, what what truck used it, but that thing's pretty nice, but but not waterproof. The next thing I got here is it's mesh, super nice. You could tie down with it, the stitching, but it's it's a thinner mesh than that. This almost feels like like a like a smooth rubber. This is like a rougher. People use this for gardening, for for like a sunscreen for gardening, and that's what I use it for actually. To, if you have too much sun coming on your garden or plants or something, you could shade it a little bit. So you can use that for a tarp too, and it's really good for um, UV. So the sun the sun doesn't affect this. It doesn't break it down like those two plastic ones there it's cheap so but again it's it's not waterproof so i was kind of fed up and i was looking online and i was like heavy duty tarp i was looking up heavy duty tarp strong strong tarp like all kind of keywords and this company here kept popping up and it's not tarps it's called um billboard vinyls so what this company does is take old billboards off the side of the road the, the um advertisements and I guess they got some kind of deal and they just sell them as tarps. You can use them for whatever you want, but there's no grommets or anything on it. So that's a problem. They're supposedly twice as thick as, as like a heavy duty tarp, waterproof, UV proof. And you would think they would be because they're up on the billboards, advertising on billboards. So let's check this out and see what it is. It's going to be kind of interesting because you never know what advertisement you're going to get. Could be cigarettes. It's probably brought to you by Visor. That's probably what it is. Nowadays, shoot. But let's see. This size, oh, let me tell you. So this size I bought was, this is a 12, I believe a 12 by 24, but supposedly waterproof, UV proof, all kind of crap. So here it is, yeah, 12 by 24. It's heavy. All right, so that's heavy. You can see it says right on there, 12 by 24. And what I did is I bought the grommet kit because this material is twice as thick as that. So I wanted to make sure I got the, the correct grommets. Here's the receipt so I can tell you what I paid for it. I lied. I'm thinking it was sticking $80. It's not. Right there. 58 bucks. Right up here. 12 by 24, 58 bucks. So that heavy duty one back there is not much cheaper than this thing, but we'll see if this thing's worth it. What advertisement we got here? And it's used, so you're buying something that's used. So I just, I just saw like a little bit of scuff right here. It's not a hole, but it is a scuff mark.
right, here's what it is. I got a Diet Coke ad. Love what you love. So that's pretty stupid. Look at this girl's hand. Look at all the jewelry and stuff on her hand. And she's holding, she's holding a Coke. I guess it's not that bad. It could have been something like super ridiculous. But who cares? It's just a tarp, right? And you know, as I was unfolding it, I'm grabbing it here. And it's not, it doesn't seem like, oh look, there's a, a shorter version of what it is. This way. It doesn't feel that bad. It's got a rip there. And you can see how the ends... I guess how they install it. It, it has a... Uh, what would you call that? Like a tube all the way down along through the bottom. And then probably along the top. That's how they hold it on to the billboards. Yeah, see? It, you just slide a pole or something through there or something. I wonder if a grommet... So this is folded over twice. So this would be four pieces of material. If I tried to put a grommet on this end, it'd be a four thickness. And the ends here, the ends are folded over. So this is double thickness along these ends. It took a hit right here. Yeah, let's look around and see if, it's, if there's damage here. For $58, right here, it got cut up bunch of slices here right here it's got a hole uh oh is that a hole right there it's got a hole right there well that that one sucks right there another little rip right there a hole in the end where it's doubled up it's not bad them, you know, it's just on the edges. Yeah, like I said, right here. So up there and right here, they cut it for some reason. Maybe when they're taking it on and off, it's easier to just cut it in half. I don't know. That looks like it, though. I don't see any holes in the middle. It's been folded for a while. These creases are tight, man. It feels good, though. It feels like a... Shoot, I don't know what to, what to call this. It's like, um, it's not definitely not like the other tarps. I don't know what that's made of. It's definitely got some kind of coating on it. But it's not too heavy. Like, if you just grab the ends of it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that bad at all. The other side's black. Nothing on it, just the other side's black. Let's see if we can get a grommet on this thing. All right, I did a trial run with these grommets before I show you so easy it, it's it's unbelievably easy and this is the end where it's four pieces of material folded over see that two on this side two on this side because it makes that tube and i i cut through it and i put a grommet and i was worried about can a grommet squeeze that much material and yeah, it, it, it didn't realize it until I figured, until I did it. I realized this tall part here is what curls over. It curls over and curls over and swishes together on top of this piece here, the washer. So when you get these two pieces together like that, you have all that, all this part here to squish down. So I'm guessing technically you could almost use that much material. Like you could, you could put a grommet in something almost that big, but let me, sh let me show you how I did this. Cause I thought I'd have to get a scissors and torch and all kind of stuff to get this hole through here, but it was, it was very easy. And I think what I'm, I got my tape measure. So I think what I'm going to do is try to get one every four feet all the way around. Okay. So right here, so it comes with a block of wood here. And all I'm going to do is put this block of wood underneath. And then it comes with this hole punch. And it's kind of beveled here and flat there. And that sharp, just metal, and that's going to push its way through. So that went through 
into the wood there and look at the little confetti that is stuck inside there. But it made a hole right in there, a perfect hole right through there. So now let's take this, this, and this. Here's the pieces you need. This is why it's good to buy the kit. It comes with this heavy weight and the tall part. I don't know what we're gonna call that, but we're gonna slide that under and push it and push it through. With with one hand, me holding the Okay, so that's on there, right? So now we're gonna take the washer part, and you can see the washers concave and flat, whatever. So the nice smooth part we're gonna leave up. So then we're gonna take this, this is the punch. It goes right into there. And like I said, all this material that's sticking up is gonna get pushed out because this is beveled, well, this is flared. So it's gonna push it out, out until it curls it and squishes it. So let's do this. Hollywood, man. And I'm turning it. For some reason, they say you're supposed to spin it as, as you hit it. All right, so now it got stuck. See how it's the punch is stuck in there? That means it's done. That means it's curled. It, it pounds it down far enough to where the washer on top, it was like that, and it just made it look like that. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go around and do this. It's going to take a while. I'll come back. All done. I got the grommets all the way around it. In the corner, every four feet. The corner. So this is how I want to do the corners down here. So I want to put one in the corner and then off to each side of it. But I, I don't I didn't have enough grommets. I bought an extra grommet kit and, and didn't have enough grommets. I got them all the way around. But this is, see this split here? I don't like that. So if you pull on this, that'll probably rip that. So I put two there all the way up. This rip area here, I got one on this side, but I need another one on that side. And I didn't even get to finish this how I wanted it to. So I need another one here and here. So I gotta buy, I gotta buy more. But this kit that comes with the cutter the base and then the uh, punch there the little block of wood that they gave me broke so I had to go get a piece of scrap wood out of the garage but all you need is a hammer putting all these grommets in took me less than 15 minutes I started Henry Ford and that stuff man I was going around so fast doing it in like an assembly line I'm trying to squish it to let all the air out of it. But we'll see how good this thing holds up and maybe I'll do like a follow-up review to show you if the uh, if the sun messes it up or if it shreds in a wind or not, but we'll see.